Welcome to United Methodist Village. We're here with Outcast Paranormal, and we're going to do a little bit of a walkthrough. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part was. Let's get into it. Whoops. All right, so what did, what did he say this was? I don't know. This is one of the... The memory wing is down this way, I think. Oh, Actually, we... this is heading us back to the front door, I think. But we can go left down the hallway. Okay. So we are on the first floor? Second floor. First. First floor. And it was opened in 1967, he said. Shh, hang on. What? Just was a sound down that way. Uh, oh, it could have been them. It echoes in here. Yeah, it does. Was that you? Yeah, it was my stomach. <laughs> so much for the, uh, so much for the <laughs> tums, right? So this was the duck. Miss Ivy Roosevelt by her husband Charles T. Roosevelt, Albion, Al Albion, Illinois, Mount Zion United Methodist Church. That is the address that kept popping up for everybody. Was oh the yeah, church and not the, the it was the church and not this place. Well, because there's so much that's not. Um, oh, you're dirty. Oh, I got were stuff you, all over my you back. You were crawling through the attic, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's kind of still in here. Yeah, it is. Oh, wait. What? Something else? There's a noise back this way. Hello? Hello? That right there is still weird to me. That's probably why the alarm at the door. Right. That's so Whoa. weird. They're down there. Is this that is, the team this, room? This is that hallway. This is so confusing. Yeah, it is very confusing. This is the memory. This is the active wing, he said, the Auten. Oh, okay. Center the memory unit. With the different tile floor. You know, I'm wondering because I just see something about this, about the Irish Spring. So apparently, if you, because there's like three of those shadow boxes that have the Irish Spring soap in them, right? Right. Well, there's a thing online right now that's trending that you can rub in the doorways, mm -hmm. your frames of your doorways, it'll kill off bugs. Huh. So I wonder if that was something that, something that they were just, maybe they were just keeping it there because maybe, I don't know. Or people were just leaving their stuff in there. It's clean. Clayton's alive. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Jeez. There was one of the rooms earlier. Yeah. The lights work. How cool is that? The fact that they still have electricity everywhere is kind of mind blowing. Whoa. Jeez.
Hey! <laughs> hey, look. Look, it's uh, Bigfoot. It's yeah. a shadow person at the end of the hallway. It's three Bigfoots. <laughs> no, it's he's Let me making. Let tell you something. He's a, it's a making fun of Val joke. It's, it's that's exactly what it is. <laughs> because I would never be so disrespectful. I'm like you talk about me and being skinny. <laughs> you are. You need Have you felt my belly before? You want to feel my belly? Oh shit! <laughs> oh. Clayton. Somebody, somebody like Clayton out of the house. <laughs> YouTube community guidelines, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we love you too. We went this way. Did we go this way? No, we can't go this way. Well, see what's in here. Oh God! It's not, I wish you could smell this. There song too. may be a reason why it wasn't open. Ooh. Yeah, that's rank. It's enough of that. Susanna Wesley Parlor. Yeah, let's not go. That was the way we went. Are right you now. sure that was the way we went? Yep. We're lost. I know where we're at now. We're not lost. I'm wrong. I don't know where we are. Do you have your mask with you? I don't think so. Nope. So we will run through this just real quick. Do you have yours? My mask, yeah. Okay, go ahead and put it on. I'm, I don't have mine, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna deal with it. Hang on. Put my mask on. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, don't break it. Okay. Would they want the music box? Yeah. Oh. oh, here we are in the old. Yep. You know what's much carpet is in here? The most mildewy thing is probably the Christmas tree over there. So he said all the pa this was opened in 1926. Right. And all the patients were out by... 2005? 2005. Ugh. So this place only be abandoned since 2018, it sure, it's, uh, sure had its run in with nature. And vandals, they seem to have a vandal problem. Yeah. Yeah, we don't like vandals, do we? No. No vandals. No vandals. No vandals. This way. Oh, hey, there's more steps. What's in there? I don't think we went this far, did we? He said the farther to the end was where the fire was. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, you can smell it. You can smell it. This isn't going to lock, is it? Hopefully not, but there's like three staircases, though, so we're okay. Should I just let it go? Yeah. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. It's rough over here. There was probably a reason why he didn't take us this far.
Now, we're not going to go into the basement strictly because of the mask yeah. issue. Because when AJ and I uh, came down this way, that was, it was rough. Oh dear. Destruction. You got it? Yeah. What is with all these haunted and abandoned places with glass? Oh there? my god. What is with these haunted abandoned places in the enclosed? This smells really bad. Yeah, it does. Well, let's get out of this side of the building. Yeah. This is a lot worse than. Watch out, Grease, that thing is glass on the floor. Grease and Marie live here. <laughs> they were the cats. Uh oh, someone's going to post a TikTok video of a door slamming. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is on this, on this side of the hospital. They're more in the. Oh, that's much better. The breathing. Look, look, look. Over here, it's a lot more um, intricate as far as like the the plaques and stuff. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Old door lockers. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Let's go the balcony. Oh. What? What? Oh, ah. no, there's not. Damn it. Don't forget there's a hole on the ground. Yeah, there is one. There is. Keep like. Sure. <laughs> Look at the new chapel. How pretty. And lucky for the owners, people and vandals have not busted out the stained glass windows. Please don't bust out the stained glass windows, people. It's, um, it's ridiculous that we have to say this on camera, but. Um, we would like for these buildings to actually get restored and actually used for something, whether it's paranormal or historical or even turning into something else. This is a statue of something crushed on the ground. I think it might have It's to be. Mary. Is it? Sorry, her? Mary. Oh, um, no. <laughs> Poor Mary. It looks kind of Catholic, or at least. You think it? Well, it's, it's Methodist, so it's Christian, right? Yeah, Methodists and Catholics are somewhat close, I think. A little record room or something. Child care. Here it is. Oh, this is strange. What's strange? This is where the daycare is? Oh, the, the fact that the daycare is in the basement? Yeah. It's very weird. Hi, kids. Why is it that when you said that, my mind automatically went to uh, that Eminem song? Because <laughs> it's a good song. Look at this, everybody. For anyone who knows, uh, for anyone knows who knows uh, who Taylor is, this is Taylor size bathroom. Look how little. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit on the toilet, but like, look, look how little. The bathrooms and the the toilets in the working bathroom are like child are size. They, are Did they you itty see bitty? them? I didn't go They're in like there. half the size of these. Jeez. Like if you go to an elementary school, have you seen how little the toilets are? Right. Oh yeah. I guess you're. I guess you're not wrong. Oh. Yeah. It's probably, I cannot imagine. Whoa! Holy mold. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Holy mold. Oh, 
we are not going to go to the other side because the other side is way worse than anything in this entire place. So, look how retro the exit is. That is cool. Yeah. Old. Look at all these dudes. This dude in particular. She may have taken advantage of the whole Illinois is a legal state. It's Illinois. 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 Yeah, it's all of them. It's Illinois. 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 Yeah. I think a lot of people took advantage of that. I think it's a possibility, yeah. Yeah. No, it's not. Why do you think so welcome to the first outcast paranormal easter egg hunt because val and myself ran the easter egg hunt for haunted nights for the first uh year at waverly hills we are going to do the same for this this for this it's late it's very late um but uh essentially what we're going to do is we're going to hide these eggs all around um united methodist village and all of these goobers here are going to participate and whoever finds the most Rock. eggs gets a really special prize so out. there's only 19 eggs i wanted this to be super hard and super difficult for some I reason found the most. for some reason <laughs> aj has been looking for these eggs for hours <laughs> when we haven't even we when we never <laughs> even hit them and they've been here the whole time so 19 eggs whoever has the most wins a prize is everyone right. excited <laughs> so we'll be back yeah. How's it going? <laughs> Any luck? Yeah. How's Sharon cheating? How many do you have? I think this game is rigged, and you guys hit it all above my eyesight. I don't like how that <laughs> That's not true at all. There are plenty that are not above your eyesight. Here, I got you. <laughs> how many do you have? Two. Oh, hold on a second. If I know that. There's one in the piano. <laughs> I really scared the shit out of her. AJ got me. I feel like I should go back down this one. I know, me too. <laughs> no, Sharon! No, Shannon! I keep hearing noises in places where none of you are.
How many you got? One. That's better than an empty bag. Look at all the orbs. How many do you all have so far? Okay, six, seven. Is that the most haunted part? <laughs> this is funny. Is it? They went way down there. Oh my god. There was a flashlight down there too. <laughs> How's the hunt going? I win by default. You you win by default? How many do you have? Four. Okay, so I have four, four, eight. I think we're getting close. Should we give them like 60 more seconds? 60 more seconds? Oh, I didn't put the timer on. Dude's actually got a, a basket. I found it. These are magic. <laughs> <laughs> Walking my door right here. Come on. I didn't uh, rooms haven't been scavenged because I just found one in there and I know people who went through there. Let's see what's going on here. Whoa, what was that? Oh, what is the door? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Jules, what do you mean? <laughs> what did you find? It's a toy. <laughs> A toy. Why not pick it up? Not me. How many did you have? Deuce. Okay. How many did you have? There were empty chairs. You had four? four. Okay. You had three. Where's Haley? Where is Haley? Who had five? Haley's they won. Still searching? Searching? I had five. She I don't won. know. All right. So what's the total count here? Dang. Well, it depends on how many you're counting. Two. <laughs> How many eggs do you have? Five is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 16, 17. Where's Haley? Is she still out there somewhere? Somebody call Haley. We lost her in the bowels of the United Methodist Village forever. We lost Haley. I didn't find any eggs. Don't think that's how this worked. That was not part of the rules. I'm just saying that I'm making money off of something. Did you find her? Did you find her? Oh, here she comes. There she is. I have a walk in the zero. Oh. <laughs> All right, so it looks like Taylor is the big winner. Okay, so we're missing eggs. No, we're missing. I don't know. Count. Three. Three. Plus seven. Four is 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We're just missing one. There's, oh. there's an egg Ooh. somewhere you here. Had one egg count for four. <laughs> Me and Taylor both have five. Oh, you do? Well, no, I looked for them for hours and they were still. <laughs> <laughs> so, and Taylor both have five. Well, <laughs> for game purposes. Your grand prize, Taylor, is you get locked in that wing all by yourself for 20 I minutes. I knew it. <laughs> I knew the I volunteer as tribute. No lights. <laughs> Nice try, asshole. Yeah. 
Oh, are you ringing a bell? Yeah. Oh, okay. Did that happen? No, that went off a couple times. Heard some footsteps. No shit. Did you get it recorded? Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> right, nothing happened to the chair though? No. Other than my head started feeling really heavy, just yeah. sitting there like, but That's then again, weird. it probably could have been the blindfold as well being too tight. Right. I heard the doorbell. I thought it was them trying to fuck with me. So like I yell out, nice try, asshole. <laughs> we, have, we, have to, we have to set it off, you know, set it off actually, like something like that. And then right. Flat lines. And then you can actually open Yeah, because I heard the flat line. Yeah, I, yeah. I heard the flat line after the couple of beeps, and I was like, oh, hold on, there's something there. Yeah. The hell is that? Tell us all about it. Huh? You can watch it. <laughs> so that's going to conclude our video with Outcast Paranormal. Um, United Methodist Village is kind of a new place to be filmed. So we are going to try to do something very special for them. Um, we're going to be looking from anywhere from 30 to 50 people to come out to help do a cleanup, um, in June, a whole weekend. And anyone who participates in this cleanup, uh, gets to do the overnights that's going to take place on that weekend. Um, look out on my socials for those announcements coming up soon. Um, if you enjoy the video, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, that's the only thing I could possibly ask you to do. But um, next week, we'll be coming at you from Grand Midway Hotel in Pennsylvania. We have Ghoul Guide, Miss Courtney. We have Becky Galantine, my bloody Galantine, and um, Josh Rawson, and um, Mallory, and just uh, Amy, and all kinds of fun people. So um, make sure to tune in for that next week. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again next week. Bye.